Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage, good morning. How you doing all right? Today is Thursday, August 29th, 2024, year of our Lord, season number two, episode number 242. In today's show, we will cover Easy Riders Cover. Daytona and Big Idea. I got the, the girls with me again. Can you see her? So, in my life, the 366 Project coming to you almost live from almost downtown Dallas in the powerful CHUMP studio. Today's show is brought to you by a Reliable Diamond Tool. That's ReadyTo.com, R-E-D-I-T-O-O.com. Check them out. Also brought to you by Simpson Motorcycle Helmets. If you got a $100 head, then wear a $100 helmet. But if your head is priceless, like mine, wear a Simpson. They're the best. We are a dealer. StrokersDallasMerch.com. We are also a dealer for Extreme Charge. It's the best battery maintenance charger on the planet. I got 50-something of these going right now. Cars, motorcycles. Check them out. StrokerDallasMerch.com Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to 1995. So in 1995... Easy Riders had called me and said, Hey, we'd like to run your bike on the cover of the magazine. I was all excited. And it was my 82 shovel head that I call Wicked. And uh, they wanted me to bring the bike to Daytona. So I was all agreeable. And my buddy Joe T went with me. And it was, I don't, I don't even know how long we were gone. You know, it's a day and a half to get there and a day and a half to get back. And we were there probably three days. And I remember going up there. I told him, I said, I got this crazy idea. He said, what is it? And I said, well, you got to keep it to yourself because... My boss at the time at Glidden was a friend of mine and Joe T's. And I didn't want him to know. And Joe said, what's the idea? And I said, I'm thinking about opening up my own motorcycle shop. So, and Joe was really the first person that I seriously broached that subject with. Him and my brother. And they were both all for it. You know, if, uh, if it's something that I really wanted to do. And at that time, I wasn't sure. I knew it's what I wanted to do. I wasn't sure if I could do it. So we spent those three days in Daytona. There were four girls on the cover of the magazine. One girl shot with the bike for the centerfold. Uh, I remember telling Joe T on the way home, I said, my face hurts because I can't remember. Hi, girl. Hi. I can't remember the last time I laughed so much. We had the best time. We met a lot of new people. We shot the bike in some pretty cool locations. Hi, Ethel. And it was just... Uh, it, it, it was a, a, a great weekend that people from Easy Riders Magazine treated <coughs> us like gold. Mm -hmm. What are you barking at? Oh, a dog's, on the, a dog's on TV. Quit watching TV, girl. There's nothing on there that we want to see. So that trip is, I think, what kind of springboarded me to where I am now. Pretty cool. 
All right, let's check that truck. Check that truck, you big old. Ooh, I like that kind of goldish yellow. Hi, Ethel. How you doing? How you doing? That goldish yellow. Hey. Okay. We, you sure are pretty. You girls sure are pretty. It's your last day up here. Mom's coming home today. White logo. White toe. White toe. Double black racing stripes. Two bin hoes. White shoe strings. One eye down. Double knotted for safety. These are, say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome dogs. Some handsome chucks. What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? What are you sniffing? Ethel, what are you eating over there? Heathens. Can you check the office? Okay. I don't know if I can get by or not, but let's see what we can do. Well, here's that, here's that magazine cover. So here's that magazine cover. There's my bike, which I still have. And there's the four girls. We were at... Uh, we were on the ocean in a place called, I think it was called JB's Fish Camp. And we were there late into the night. We shot these pictures about dusk. The, the, the great photographer, Michael Lichter, was the photographer. And the girl on the right is the one that was the centerfold with my motorcycle. Her name was Karina and she was from El Paso, or as we like to say in Texas, El Paso, okay? Put that back there. Okay, let's check Grandma's calendar. Hold on, I didn't get it out yet. What was my grandma doing 75 years ago today on August 29th, 2020, 1949? Grandma wrote, we went to Sayer, and got the pickup, an international. You know, those internationals used to be pretty dang popular. I remember my, uh, my great uncle Sarge had a couple of internationals. Whatever happened to him? His was called, a, he called it a carry-all. I don't know if that was the name of it or if that's just what he called it, the carry-all. Kind of like a suburban. Dad joke, what do you get when you cross a lemon with a cat? A sourpuss. Boy, do I know a couple of sourpusses. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Love yourself first. Everything else will fall in place. If you don't love yourself, then you need to get right with yourself so that you can love yourself. If you're miserable, baby, you it's going to make a long life. And I mean long in a bad way, like a long, miserable life. Get right with yourself. Do what makes you happy. So the other day, I had a couple of visitors, Dale and his daughter, Emily. They are loyal listeners from here in Texas. And I appreciate that very much. They came and saw me, and I was uh, very glad to meet them and uh, take some pictures with them, and I appreciate them coming by very much. If you want to come by and see us, we'd love to see you. Check out the new flannel shirts uh, Big and just added. They're, you know, I know it's hot here in Texas, and, and there's a little hot spell up there in the northeast, but it's going to turn cold, and it's going to turn cold pretty quick. So you might want to get these flannel shirts before we run out. There's four colors. They all have the little Strokers Dallas above the pocket. They got the Strokers Dallas uh, tag, you know, sewn into the back. They're really cool. And uh, I got myself one of each color. All right, I'm going to leave you with this. Did you know that McDonald's serves spaghetti over in the Philippines? And that, boys and uh, girls, is the rest of the story. Check out my YouTube channel, Sunder Strokers Dallas. All right, I got to go. I got Thursday things to do. Love you, Alice. Bye. Hey, see you tomorrow.